Edifier probably needs no introduction as a maker of great speakers, but this time it is a bit different. Instead of great bang for your buck bookshelf speakers, this is a gaming speaker. While most gamers will probably correlate gaming audio with gaming headsets that come with surround audio, microphone for communication and that sort of stuff, the Edifier G2000 provide gamers an alternative option to having cans or earbuds stuck to their ears. I'm Vincent Chan from Porter.net and let's check this out. The packaging of the Edifier G2000 is decidedly gamerish, with light blue accents against a predominantly black base. On the front, there's a clear image of the speakers. On one side, you get the package content in multiple languages, while over on the back, you get some highlighted features. The other side lists some basic specifications of the Edifier G2000. Getting into the box, you will find a pretty standard 2-pin power adapter, an AUX cable, a USB-A to USB-A cable, and the speakers themselves. Each speaker is wrapped in plastic in addition to being supported by injection molded plastic trays to protect them from damage during shipping. Moving on, the specifications of the Edifier G2000 isn't particularly mind-blowing, but we do see the Edifier made full use of the available space in these diminutive speakers. You get huge 2.75-inch drivers that are capable of outputting 8 watts each with a peak power output of 32 watts. The frequency response ranges from 98Hz to 20kHz, while the noise level is rated at below 25dBA. Nothing too grand, but they are pretty good when you consider the size of these speakers. There's support for your regular AUX input as well as direct USB input. If you prefer to go wireless, the Edifier G2000 also supports Bluetooth 4.2, although there's no support for any high-quality codec beyond SBC. For all input modes, you get to toggle between 3 EQ modes which are gaming, music and movie mode. For looks, you get RGB LEDs as well to really hammer in the point that these are gaming speakers. Because how else will anyone know? Design-wise, the Edifier G2000 are indeed quite unique. They have a hexagonal shape and are constructed of really solid plastic. There's some very minimal branding below the driver units just so that you won't forget that you got the Edifier G2000 in front of you. Speaking of which, the drivers themselves look pretty cool. They are full range drivers as in they cover the entire frequency response range by themselves. This is evident by the fact that there aren't any discrete tutors or base drivers here, just these sweet 2.75 inch drivers that spot the Hecate logo on the cone. For the uninitiated, Hecate is Edifier's gaming brand, although most of the products in their current lineup consist of gaming headphones and earphones. The side profile of the Edifier G2000 also reveals a slight upward tilt presumably to deliver the sound waves to your ears a little better. The RGB lighting is also present as slits on the side as well as a larger portion of the rear. I'm not exactly sure why they decided the RGB on the back was necessary considering that no one really sees the back of their speakers. Now that we're on the back of the speakers, you will also see the inputs along the bottom. There's the USB input, AUX in, sub out, power input and the non-detachable connection between the two speakers. The decision to use a full USB-A connector here is indeed a curious decision considering the USB-B would have saved quite a bit of space on the PCB. I guess the Edifier just didn't need the extra space though considering that these are rather simple speakers. There's a nifty little control panel on the side of the speakers and let's see what they do. Each button comes with a nifty little label at the side to indicate what a short press and long press does and even if you can't see it, there's a voice prompt to inform you of your settings. I also really like the volume rocker which is quite unique considering that most of Edifier's speakers I have reviewed came with a dial. Moving on, let's take a look at the RGB lighting effects. There's your regular cyan, red, green, blue, and yellow static colors, as well as them in an alternate breeding mode which you can also get that in purple. There's also an RGB color cycle mode that breathes and also one that doesn't. In total, there are 12 lighting modes to play around with, although like I mentioned earlier, you most probably won't be seeing that much of it given their placement towards the rear of the speakers. For the next portion of the test, we would recommend you to put on your headphones to get a better idea of what they sound like. We'll be using the USB connection as this should provide the most unbiased sound from the Edifier G2000 given that the decoding is done by the speakers themselves. There's no need to install any drivers as they work via plug and play. 
we'll be using the mini DSP Hears system to record the output of the speakers. We will not be doing any processing, so it will be as close as possible to what you will hear if you get a pair of Edifier G2000 speakers for yourselves. The speaker will be connected to one laptop while another laptop is connected to the mini DSP Hears and will be recording the audio with Audacity. Pick up your ears because here we go. Game mode. With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City, one of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the best in resources and movie mode. Manufacturers of cutting edge technologies, Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? Oh, no, no, this isn't happening. Oh, but it is. But in the city streets, a merciless struggle for power rages. Gang. Music mode. Hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice. In Night City, I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. Game mode. Movie mode. So, what do you think of the sound? For us, we think that the speakers offers a nice unique design, ample input options including Bluetooth so you can use it with your tablet or smartphone. I also fancy the volume rocker as it is quite intuitive to use, and of course, they sound great, especially considering the size. There are stuff we don't like though, like for example, the non-detachable cable is not ideal, but acceptable given that they are meant for desktop use. And the rear-facing RGB does leave me scratching my head as no one sits behind their speakers. The Bluetooth connection also exhibits too much latency for a good wireless gaming experience, which is a bummer if you plan on amping up your COD mobile matches. For RM299, I would say that the Edifier G2000 is a pretty interesting little pair of speakers with a much bigger sound than you would expect from their size. On top of good sound, Edifier also made sure to add some RGB just to satisfy the criteria that all gaming hardware must have RGB. And I can't say that I'm opposed to that as I do like my RGB but Edifier could probably position it better. Personally, I would prefer to go with one of Edifier's larger bookshelf speakers which would be pretty much in the same price range although they will take up significantly more space on the desk than the Edifier G2000. Will you be considering picking up a pair of gaming speakers to complement your gaming setup? Let us know in the comments. And that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page for more content like this. I'm Winston Chan from Porter.net and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.